Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and in this video we're taking a look at the new range of resin for bolt action from Warlord Games. This is a sample that was sent out for people to have a little look at, so let's do that. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Ark Games in Stevenage. Check them out online and in store, and come down and play a game with us on Wednesday evenings. So, samples have been sent out to retailers and different people in the sort of internet media webs to have a look at the new range of resin. It's replacing the support groups in their bolt action range. Obviously moving from metal to plastic and resin. So let's have a look a little bit more in detail and see what you can do. Uh, Warlord Games have said that you can cut it, you can convert with it, do conversions, it sticks things onto it, change heads and etc. You can file it, you can scrape it, and you don't need to prime it to paint it. So in this video, I'm gonna have a look at all of those to see if those claims actually hold up. So first impressions, it does come with a little bit of um, flash on it, as you can see on the rifle and on the box and on the uh, dagger, holster, holster, sheath. Uh, the nobbles on the helmet, well, they're supposed to be there because that's the design of the helmet. But if you can have a little close-up, uh, it's not particularly too smooth. Remember, we are at very high resolution here on the camera looking at it. Uh, detail, I thought a little bit lacking, not very sharp on some parts of it. And also, the barrel was pretty bent. Uh, you can have a look here. You've got the flash underneath it, and you can see that the box is not particularly detailed. So first up, things that I looked at was, can you file it? Well, I used the nail, ladies' nail file, uh, and that was a bit rough, so I changed to a metal file, and it did smooth it down a bit. Scraped off the nobbles with my trusty scraper, uh, and that made it a little bit neater. So, uh, yep, you can scrape it, you can uh, definitely file it, but you're gonna use a, a fine file. Uh, Cut the foot off, so I was going to try um, gluing it back on. However, I lost it. So, I had to get some extra feet. So I went to uh, a spare British 8th Army sprue and cut myself off a couple of feet. You can see the difference here in the finish of the uh, resin to the plastic. Your plastic is much smoother finish. Uh, yeah, you get the flash lines and the mould lines, as you can see in this picture, but it is much smoother. So, uh, got my glue out, super glue, glued on the feet. Uh, had to do both in the end because the British boots are bigger than the Italian boots. So uh, that was done. Had a go at the barrel. Three attempts in hot water to straighten it out. And this is the probably the best I could get. Why? I think there's a problem with the sculpt, with how it goes over the edge of the box. Uh, it just didn't bend up uh, to a straight position. You're going to get that with some of the metals, but it, it was annoying. Um, does it notice? Well, it does when you're looking for it. So I cleaned it all up, and it wasn't too bad. So then I painted it without primer. I used Vallejo acrylics for the base coats, and then I put a wash of soft tone from Army Painter over it. It was looking okay, but then I noticed some little bobbles on the helmet. And I thought, oh, let's have a look at those. So I gently rubbed my thumb across it, and it started to peel and roll back the paint off of the helmet. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. So, then on, I put on some Vallejo uh, Air Primer, put that across, and let that dry before I painted it up again. I didn't do the body, but you can see... There looks to have been a chemical reaction and there is blistering on the paintwork. You can see it all rising up. It was smooth, but then it started to blister. So I don't know why that is. Should I have washed the resin? They didn't say anything about washing the resin figure. But I would recommend priming it with a good primer. I, haven't, I didn't do a, a spray can. I just used the uh, paint on Vallejo. Uh, air primer so yeah the final uh, product excuse the dry brushing on the legs for the ground but you can see 
bits and pieces of where the paint is flaking off from without the primer. You can still see the bend in the rifle, so it's a little bit of a problem. So my, my final thoughts from the experiment, yes, you can scrape it, you can file it, but proviso is it's gonna be a very fine file. You can cut it, you can convert it because the plastic stuck with the super glue quite happily. I used the Gorilla super glue, that worked. You can't, I don't think, paint it without priming it. Again, I'd have to try another figure to see if it was the same, whether it was the soft tone from Army Painter. So did that affect it? Should it have affected it? I don't know. Uh, the next one I would probably try and use Agrax Earthshade from um, Citadel, see if that was any different. But I only got I only got the one sample to, to try. I would like to have a look at the whole book, the, the whole pack of a support group. The figure wasn't particularly smooth. The detail on this one wasn't particularly sharp. It's not as sharp as metal, wasn't as sharp as even as a plastic. So there was a little bit of flash on the, uh, the figure. The box was pretty poor. Uh, this, the sculpt was pretty poor and the way it came out in the resin was not good. However, saying that, the preparation time taking off the mold lines and the little bit of uh, flash wasn't any different with uh, the plastics or the metals when you have to do it. Uh, and again, I will reiterate, I think you really do need a primer on it. But I need to check out more. From a distance on the table, if the paint was smooth, the paint might be smooth, it'll look okay. Not great. So, wait and see. See how the range comes out. Look for yourselves at the figures if you can get a chance to look at them in the local store, if you've got one. Uh, yeah, I need to have a look at a box of uh, the support group to see how it comes out. If you want another look at a video, please check out Sonic Sledgehammer. He's put together a, a painting tutorial on one of the anti-tank team from this Italian range. He used a primer, so have a little look at his video. A different result. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the notification button. Stick any comments down in uh, down below, and I'll answer them as best I can. So until the next time, take care.